Uh, Keith, first things first, how's the recovery going? Yeah, it's come along right, thanks. Um, you know, I didn't go back home uh, when the season was finished because I wanted to get a lot of rehab done and um, a lot of physio work done. So it's, um, you know, it's all, I'm ticking all the boxes and I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. How's, is it any easier second time around? Obviously you've been through it before, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's, obviously, it's obviously tough, you know, you put, it, put in all that work to um, first time around to get back on the field and then, and then the other one goes a few months later. So, um, you know, but you just, it's, I suppose I'm, I've been unlucky, but these sort of things can happen in, in sports. So just go to, um, you know, I'm trying to try my best to get back out there and get, and, and get it right. We all know rugby league players are big tough fellas, but this is more a mental thing now, is it for you? Yeah, definitely. And I don't know if physically I can I can come back from it and stuff like that. But um, obviously, it's mentally. You know, you've got a, um, a few mental questions in your head whether you'll come back from it or not. But um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to prove those voices wrong. Did you ever have any thoughts about maybe calling it a day? Oh, yeah, obviously. You know, when when all the emotions sort of went out of it, I, you know, I wanted to um, I want I wanted to get back on the field and finish on sort of my terms. You know what I mean? Because it's um, you know, it'd be unfortunate to sort of I know a lot of players do, but to sort of finish up just because of injury so um, you know I, just, I want to get it back out there So I guess for most players normally dread pre-season I guess you're quite looking forward just to getting back out there Yes I'd say so although I'm not on the um, wasn't too envious of the boys out on the field today when it was raining and windy and freezing cold so um, you know but yeah I can't, I can't wait to be able to get back out on the field and train with the boys again and coming out to play for the champions again, you must have missed being a part of it a direct part of it Yeah, yeah you know it was, it was a bit bittersweet but you know, I was over the moon for the boys and the club, you know, especially after what we went through the, the year before. Um, to come back from that and to win the competition the, the year later is um, remarkable. Some new faces, some old faces have moved on, but I guess when everyone's back, raring to go, retain the crown. Yeah, definitely, and I think, we, I think we've got the squad to do it. We've got um, you know, a, fair, a fair squad. Um, you know, we've brought in some really good players, so I think um, we'll put ourselves in good stead for next year. Former Australian international, come on, give us, give us some hope. How are England going to beat Australia at the weekend? Oh, you know, you are always a chance, aren't you? But we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> no, no inside tips. Then what will it? What will it take to beat Australia? Then do you think? Um, yeah, not too sure. Um, Australia's just so clinical, um, especially down there. It's going to be a tough ask. But I suppose, I suppose England just can't um, can't make too many mistakes and got, um, just got to do what the Aussies do: just um, field possession, put it down the corners, and don't, don't give them, don't give cheap ball. Is it belief a big thing? Do you feel, Keith? Oh, for sure. They've, they're not, I mean, um, I know the Australian boys will be going out there thinking they can win, so if the English boys have got that same sort of belief, then it should be a real good, real good game. Split loyalties, I guess, because some of your teammates here are going to be yeah. playing against the Aussies. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, hopefully Cal and um, Hawley put in good performances, but um, you know, being an Aussie, I hope, hope the Aussies win. <laughs>